Today we're going to be starting another player career mode. This time it's going to be a created pro. We're going to be starting the career of Dylan Wright. He's going to be starting off at Bournemouth. But he has a bit of history when it comes to the world of football. Bournemouth isn't his first club. In fact, he has come from the Manchester United Academy. So he definitely has some talent. But unfortunately, it wasn't quite enough to make it into the Man United first team. Now Dylan Wright primarily plays striker and he does utilize his pace to make sure he is very successful in the striker position. His passing isn't really that good, his dribbling does need a bit of work but he can get past his man in 1v1s but he does abuse his pace to do so. And his shooting also does need a bit of improvement but he is willing to improve it. Perhaps his pace did put him into the United Academy but his pace was not enough to keep him there. But Bournemouth saw something in him, they saw a project in the young Dylan Wright and they decided to snap him up and put him into the first team at the age of 19. I mean, it was about time anyways, he couldn't stay in the youth setup until he was the age 20. So they decided to snap him up, put him in the Bournemouth team at the age of 19, hopefully develop him to become something quite special. Even if he doesn't stay at Bournemouth for a long time, even one or two good seasons with Bournemouth could be enough to make sure that they not only survive the Premier League but also turn themselves into a very solid Premier League team. And speaking of them having a solid team, it doesn't take long for Dylan Wright's efforts in training to be noticed and soon enough he immediately replaces Dominic Solanke in the starting 11 spot at striker. And just like that Dylan Wright is already a starter. The first game of the season has not been played yet. He will be making his debut against Leeds United as a starter. He does get congratulated from the team. Everyone is kind of happy for him. Everyone except Dominic Solanke. But now it's time to prove whether or not the coach was right about starting Dylan Wright in his first ever Premier League match. And Leeds United is not an easy opponent. Would he score a goal? Would he even do anything in this game? I guess there's only one way to find out. It doesn't take long for Dylan Wright to find a bit of space in his opening day and a bit of trickery to get past the defender opens up an angle to shoot and of course he's able to put it in at quite the tight angle but with enough power he hits it past the goalkeeper and just like that Dylan Wright has scored his debut goal. But Leeds United weren't going to take it lying down, a penalty was given to them, Rodrigo took it but Neto was able to save it. Dylan Wright was on the attack once more, dribbling past Leeds, going out from the wing, cutting inside and being able to take another shot, this time on his left foot, being able to finish it off. And he is a very happy boy to score a brace on your uh, debut, that's definitely something special and something that you may never forget for a long time. Second penalty for Leeds United, they are able to score it this time. It is now 2-1, Bournemouth are looking a bit shaky but at the end of the day, those two goals from Dylan Wright are enough to get them the win. And to show you the world of football that Bournemouth might have just uncovered a gem. And uh, other teams like the United, like the Cities, like the Liverpools might have to watch out for the young Dylan Wright. Next on the agenda for Bournemouth and Dylan Wright was Man City, the champions of England. A tough test for any team and any striker. But with Dylan Wright and Bournemouth on that little bit of form that they got from Leeds United, who knows, maybe they could do something to stun the champions of England. And Dylan Wright starts off on the right foot, scoring a goal with his right foot, going hitting it past Ederson Morales. Last time out, we did say that these teams should watch out for Dylan Wright. And watch out is definitely what they should be doing. But Bournemouth shouldn't get ahead of themselves as well because they also have to watch out for players like Foden and Erling Haaland because they are just as dangerous, if not more dangerous, than Dylan Wright is right now. And Haaland proves that by scoring a goal. But Haaland and Foden aren't the only ones you gotta watch out for. As in the 83rd minute, Kevin De Bruyne gets himself an opportunity and he's able to hit it past the Bournemouth goalkeeper in Neto. And just like that, Bournemouth suffer a 2-1 loss. Now you could say this was expected, but the fight that we saw from a player like Dylan Wright definitely did show that Bournemouth might have been the ones who deserved the win here. 
But in football and in life, you don't always get what you deserve. But Dylan Wright does not have to walk away in complete shame. He did his best for the team. He scored a goal. He made sure he was out there. And now, everyone is going to be talking about Dylan Wright. Even if it is just to call him an overrated wonder kid. At least now, he's got people talking. And it doesn't get any easier from here as the next team on the agenda is going to be Chelsea. Who have started the season off well in this career mode. But now they're going to face Bournemouth and Dylan Wright. And you know how Dylan is. He wants to score himself one more goal. But Dylan would have to wait his turn before he could take a bite at Chelsea's goal. As Chelsea were the ones who set dibs and scored the first goal of the game. But Dylan wouldn't have to wait long before he got his bite at the Chelsea goal. Running past the defense and finding himself in a one on one opportunity against Mendy. He misses on his first goal, but at the second time of asking, he makes sure that it goes in and nestles in the back of the net. Dylan can now cross Chelsea off the list of big six teams he has scored against. That's two out of six so far. Let's see if we can get all six in this season. Football is not all about offense, however, and it's not all about the strikers. We had hoped that Neto would be able to put in a shift to save a penalty against Aubameyang. But to be honest, it was a perfect penalty and there was nothing that they could do about it. And once again, against the big 16, we fight well, we fight hard, but we end up losing it in the end. No points for Bournemouth, all points for the big 6. Fast forward a few games and Dylan Wright continues to make a name for himself. And well enough that he is now in the lips of every fan in English football. And almost every fan in world football. Everyone wants to know who really is Dylan Wright. Where does he come from? Is he going to be the next big thing for England? Is he going to be the next big thing for world football? Well, for now, it's just interviews with Bournemouth and the Premier League. But what could be next? Ballon d'Ors? Player of the Month awards? Well, we can't think about that now. Because one of Dylan's most important games and most emotional games is ahead. He faces the team that doubted him, that had no faith in him. Manchester United. This is going to be a big game for Dylan Wright. He's gonna have to start off on the right foot. And that's exactly what he tried to do. But misfortune would strike him. And unfortunately, this is where his Bournemouth season ends. A poor injury, a terrible one. He tears his hamstring. Now normally, hamstring tears don't last that long. Two months, three months at most. But, let's just say the way Bournemouth treated Dylan after this made him change his mind about how loyal he truly is to the club. And this is where this video will end. Thank you for watching. Let me know how you think Dylan Wright's career will pan out after this. Where do you think he'll go? Will he stay at Bournemouth, be a bench warmer, or will he have to go out to another team in Europe or in the Premier League? Well, stay tuned. Check out the next episode to find out.